Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fetal echogenic intracardiac focus. I have another video of this case in my YouTube channel, so don't forget to check that also. An 18 year old female patient came for a routine second trimester ultrasound scan. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here we have measured the gestational age. According to bipartal diameter and femoral length, the gestational age is around 19 weeks, one day. We have measured the abdominal circumference also and the weight was around 250 gram, which is quite normal at this age. You can see the penile part here, so it was a male fetus. Now when we check the cervical region of this patient, you can see the placental part looks covering the internal os. However, this is the 19 weeks of gestation and at this time, it's not a matter of concern to us. When the uterus will get enlarged, this placenta will go upwards, so hopefully it won't disturb the internal loss on third trimester. Here's the cervical length and the placental position, which appear to be normal for this gestational age. Now let's jump into our main topic. During the scanning of fetal heart, we have seen an echogenic focus, the diameter of which is less than 3 mm at the left ventricle. So I want to focus this structure now. Here is the section of the thorax. You can see a bright echogenic dot at the left ventricle. You can see this is the spine. This is the left atrium. This is the right atrium. This is the right ventricle containing the moderator bands. And this is the left ventricle. You can see this echogenic dot at the left ventricle. So this is the echogenic intracardiac focus. Let's magnify the image a little more. Magnifying the image, you can see this hyperechogenic structure quite well visualized now. We have scanned from different location and the structure was still present. The echogenicity of this focus is similar to adjacent bone. You can see the spine and ribs, quite same echogenic as this structure. Usually we get this echogenic focus when the papillary muscles get mineralized. Here is the color Doppler picture and you can see with normal intracardiac flow, this echogenic focus is still visualized. Here is the picture and you can see this echogenic focus at the left ventricle. The heart rate was within normal limit around 149 beats per minute with a regular rhythm. So in summary, a small bright echogenic dot of less than 3 mm size is noted at the left ventricle. The rest of the fetal organs appear normal. So this feature suggested as a case of fetal echogenic intracardiac focus. Now the take home message. Always compare the echogenicity of this focus with an adjacent bone to avoid overdiagnosis. The echogenic cardiac focus should be as bright as the bone. These echogenic cardiac foci are considered to represent mineralization within the papillary muscles. They may be found in isolated cases or in trisomy 21 and 13. If you get it in the left ventricle and unilaterally, it is usually not associated with syndromes. We try to give a follow-up on third trimester and usually it gets disappeared. But when we get multiple and bilateral echogenic cardiac foci, then consider high association with aneuploidy. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.